Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, a bunch of you wanted to see a brow blocking tutorial, so that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, check out these dope little skeleton earrings. I got them on Amazon. <laughs> also, I'm snacking. I'm snacking because this is right before I filmed something for Halloween, so I'm chilling, all right? We're chilling. I'm also wearing a top. You, you know I gotta tell you. So we're gonna get rid of these brows, okay? I don't, yeah. Okay, Alex, all right, we get it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is make sure that that area is nice and clean. Uh, there's no lotion or skincare of any sort. So I'm going in with two passes of um, these little alcohol pads. You could obviously, like if you have rubbing alcohol, just put it on a little like piece of tissue or something or a paper towel. It doesn't, you don't have to have exactly these. You wanna make sure that it's nice and dry. And then you want this Elmer's glue stick, okay? The purple one, not the white ones. You want it to be purple. It will dry clear, but the purple one is very important. Um, so obviously you can see that I am spreading this all over my brow hairs uh, and I'm going against the way they grow. So you wanna make sure that you're coating all of the hair and then I'm going in with a spoolie and brushing them up. So going against the grain is gonna make sure that you are coating basically like every part of the hair. And then you can, you can see that I'm just like brushing them straight up. Uh, that is how we're gonna start, dude. You can br you can like um, paste them down, side, like in ways, the other way. You can go back and forth. It's gonna depend on like how coarse your hair is. Mine isn't that coarse, so I don't. I didn't need to go like every single angle. Now I have this little like spatula tool, and I'm flattening the like what I already put down. Uh, you can do this instead of the spoolie, but I really wanted to make sure that I was like brushing them sufficiently before I did this. Uh, but if the glue's a little bit dried, it's gonna be a little uncomfortable. You can see how much I'm like pulling on my skin, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> Silly. So now I just want to wait for that to dry down fully uh, before I go in with my next, you know, pass of this, basically. Uh, I'm gonna go in with another little alcohol wipe and just clean up around the edges so that they, I'm down, I don't have like a bunch of glue all over my face, essentially. I just wanna keep it to like where my brows are. Just cause it'll mix, it'll mi end up mixing with like other makeup and stuff, so you wanna be safe. But I, I did end up going in with like face paint after this, so it didn't really make a difference. So that now that they are nice and dry, uh, I am going to go in with another pass. Same deal, I'm gonna be, you know, pushing upward against the hairs. Um, and this time no spoolie because we've already got them nice and brushed out. I'm gonna go back in with that spatula and just push them flat to the skin, as flat as I po possibly can get it, okay? So this process is basically just like a lot of back and forth um, of the glue. It's a, lot of, it's a back and forth of like basically a lot of all of the products that you're gonna be seeing. Um, but the amount of times that you do this, again, is it's really going to depend on how difficult your brow hairs are. Each time you do it, you flatten it, you wanna wait for it to dry, and then I'm going back in with that rubbing alcohol pad to um, clean up. Uh, I like doing it between each so that there isn't like a huge buildup and then it doesn't become plasticky and like pull off of the skin and pull off the brow. Now I'm going in with one of these little, little wedges uh, and the Givenchy Prism Libre palette, palette powder and setting over all of that. So this is going to help like fill in any of the gaps in case there are any little like grooves in the hairs left over. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, so this, but this powder is amazing for that because it's super finely milled. It gets into all of those little like cracks and crevices basically. And then I'm gonna col uh, color correct. This is very important. So I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in light ivory. I think actually I probably could have used something a little bit warmer and slightly darker first, maybe my Huda Beauty color corrector, and then gone in with this, but this was fine. I, um, I did two passes of this as well. So obviously I'm like really, I'm using a brush and I'm really pressing it into those hairs with that brush uh, so that I, and I'm focusing it just where that hair is. Obviously you can see like, let's do my little squinting trick. You squint at my face right now, starting to blend in a little bit more with the rest of my face, right? And I'm using this like barely damp sponge. It's, it's hardly damp, just to make sure that I'm really pressing that again into any of those little grooves. I'm gonna go back in with the powder with that brush and I'm gonna build it up 
over the brow hairs. So basically every single step, like you're taking tiny little steps to fill in all the little gaps in the brow hairs, all the little grooves to make it nice and smooth and to build up the coverage of all of your products. So we're slowly just kind of like blending it into like the flat skin and also the skin color. Uh, so after I set with the powder, I go in with um, another pass of the color corrector because obviously like you're looking at it now, you can still see some of that darkness. Uh, I went in and powdered with a sponge, doesn't really matter. You don't have to, but I don't know, it made me feel good. So now I'm focusing this even more in the center, exactly where I see that like dark kind of gray cast. It actually almost looks like blue or green um, in contrast to the orange, but so just don't don't rush it, you know, take it one step at a time. If you feel like you, uh, you've you reached a certain step and you think like, oh, I should be here by now, but I'm not, don't worry about it. Like if you need to do another um, another layer of something, just, just go ahead and do that. It's, it's totally up to you. Now I'm really building up that powder because again, I just want to make sure that everything is setting, uh, filling in all of the little grooves and gaps. This is not your typical makeup, you guys. This is not your, uh, your everyday makeup, all right? <laughs> so, I mean, we're literally trying to make it look like we have no brow hair. So you're going to be going in. You're going to be going in, all right? Pressing that in with my sponge. Um, and then I'm going to start building up concealer. So this is Jekka Black in the shade 2. Um, it's a very, 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 very thick concealer, super full coverage. It's a little bit dark, but I wanted to build up my colors a little bit slowly. Uh, so I went in with the brush, but I was like, oh, the sponge is probably better. So you can see my like motion. I'm really pressing it in to make sure that I am like smoothing everything out, building up that coverage. And then I'm, I'm kind of like moving it into the rest of my face. Uh, so that I'm, you know, making sure that it's like blending into all of my skin. I want to make sure that the color is actually like working well. Uh, I didn't do my entire face here because I was doing another makeup tutorial. So it ends up looking a little bit silly, but just this is like the part where you would start like working in your foundation, essentially, uh, your foundation color, in other words. So I'm really working that in, building up that coverage, and then I needed something a little bit lighter. So I'm using this concealer from Tower 28 that is a little bit lighter and I'm going over top of that, and then I'm starting to blend that more into the rest of my skin. So again, layers, so important, um, and don't feel like you can't, don't feel like it has to be perfect, like you can, you can definitely go back in um, to build up. So yeah, starting to disappear. It was at this point where I thought, mm, maybe I should have gone in with a slightly like deeper color corrector, but it was fine, you know, it works for what I was doing. What I was doing was covering my whole face with like paint. <laughs> so you weren't gonna see it. If you wanted to have like a bald, a bald eyebrow look completely, then like you really wanna take your color correction seriously. Otherwise you are going to get that gray cast coming through. But now I'm just really building up with that sponge, that powder, because I want it to be completely flawless, fill in all the grooves, make it super smooth. This powder is so perfect for that, it's just like, Literally, it's so finely milled. It makes the skin so smooth. So it's it's perfect for this. <laughs> this is the finished look, you guys. What do you think? I was like, not exactly the most flattering with my like unconcealed dark circles, <laughs> but I was kind of into it as a vibe. As you can see, when I turn to the side, it's like very smooth. You see no brow hairs. Anyway, you guys requested this. I hope that it was helpful. Uh, I needed to film something else, so I'm gonna go, but yeah, let me know if you end up doing this or if you give it a shot or if it works for you, uh, and I will see you in the next one.